is Sharon and Jamie from Sharon at Sea. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing out there uh, today? Hey, we are here to cover a very, very important topic with you. It's, um, it's something that uh, everyone talks about when they're getting on the cruise ships. Um, it's one of the most hot important topic. things. Yes, it's a hot <laughs> topic, and it's near and dear to my heart, uh, particularly, and that topic is alcohol. And, um, and we're going to cover uh, a lot of information about a, a bunch of the cruise lines, all the big uh, names that you know of. Seven, seven of the major cruise lines. We're going to yeah. cover, car or actually eight, Carnival, I keep forgetting Disney, Carnival, yeah. Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Princess, Celebrity, Holland America, MSC, and Disney. And we'll but, touch base on Disney too. Yeah, we're gonna leave Disney till last because it's kind of in a little league of its own where it comes yeah. when it comes to the alcohol. They got their own thing going on. Yeah, so we'll talk about that last. Yes. Um, although it would seem that that's a ship where parents might need a little less alcohol with all those <laughs> kids running around uh, getting crazy. I don't know. Um, all right. So, uh, so what we want to talk about is um, uh, number one. Uh, what you can bring on board with you because all the cruise lines across the board for the most part will allow you to bring something on board um, They will also allow you to pre-purchase bottles many of them at a, at a pretty high inflated dollar amount You're really paying about three and four times the amount you pay at the store, but you can pre-purchase those to be in your room But it will save you money if you know compared oh, to yeah. buying drink for drink on the ship if you drink it yeah i've done the math and ounce per ounce um figuring you get an ounce of booze in a, in a drink um you'll definitely come out on the plus side if you pre-bought you know pre-purchase a okay. bottle but um we'll talk about what you can bring on and then the different drink packages that you can get on board as well which will save you money and help you drink a lot yeah so first what you can bring on board okay um just about Okay, with the exceptions of Norwegian Cruise Line, MSC, and Disney, all the others, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Royal Caribbean, Princess Celebrity, and Holland America, you can bring one bottle of 70, 750 milliliter bottle of wine or champagne on board with every adult um, on embarkation day. And you have to bring it on your in your carry-on. Yeah. So... Some cruise lines will charge you a corkage fee, um, no matter what. Some will only charge you a corkage fee if you open it in the main dining room or out in a dining area or a bar. If you bring your own bottle opener, yeah, <laughs> remember that, uh, and open it in your stateroom, uh, most of the cruise lines will not charge you. Although I think Norwegian may charge you anyways, but we'll get to that in a minute because they have a little different um, drinking. Um, a little different process. process. All right. So that with that, um, Norwegian now. Theirs is they don't really have a limit on how much you can bring on, but it does have to go in your carry-on, and they will charge you a corkage fee due to the amount you bring on. So it's fifteen dollars for every seven hundred and fifty milliliter bottle of wine. It is twenty dollars for every thousand milliliter of wine, and every and thirty for every fifteen hundred milliliter of wine. So they figured so, out a way they're going to get paid for you bringing your so, stuff yeah, on so regardless. Yeah, so I think no matter you're going to get charged with them because they're probably going to check how much wine you bring on and what size your bottles are on embarkation and uh, charge you according that way. Yeah. So, so some of these places may charge you that corkage fee like Sharon said, getting right on the ship and others um, Most like, of the like others. I know at Carnival yeah. uh, they, you know, they just might hit you with it if you go to the dining room. Yeah, and, and to be honest, too. it's really been 50-50. Because -50, um, we brought bottles to the dining room before and they haven't done anything about it. So I think yeah, it's just a luck of the draw. Yeah, I think they're a little more strict with that now, though. But um, like I said, most of the others are, I don't think, charge you unless you open it, have them open it for you. Yes. And, you're, and if you ask your stateroom steward to open it, they can charge you as well. We got lucky one time and they actually brought us a little um, bottle opener and let us open it ourselves and didn't charge us, but they, they will. So try to remember to bring your own opener oh, yeah. um, to, if you're going to go on any of those cruise lines. And one, okay, and then MSC. They do not allow you any alcohol on whatsoever Ooh. on embarkation day. Boo. Nothing. Boo. You're out of luck. <laughs> so don't even, don't even take it. Um, and some cruise lines will let you still bring soda on, um, but some won't. I know Carnival, you can bring a 12-pack per person on still, but it has to be cans only. Um, and you can also bring sometimes some energy drinks and things like that. But everything you bring on has to be in cans or in a carton. No bottles at all anymore, so that's why no water on board, no, no bottles 
Yeah, they got wise to people sneaking the sneaking the booze on yeah. um, in the bottles, and you know, uh, uh, there's a lot of smugglers out there who like to try to find neat uh, new ways to get uh, alcohol on board, and some people get away with it. And from what I understand, because I've not, um, how do I phrase it? I've not been caught doing it. <laughs> Might be the best way to put it. Um, uh, they will make you take a walk of shame oh, yeah. downstairs to a room where they keep all the uh, confiscated alcohol, and you'll have to go uh, down there and pick up your luggage because they will keep your luggage separate um, if you try to sneak it on. So, uh, you know, yeah. it's up to you if you want to take that risk and do the walk of shame. And another thing is, um, most of the cruise lines still have art auctions. Not all of them, and not every ship, but if they do, you can usually get free champagne at the yeah. art auctions. So that's yes. a way to get a little free drink if you want. And, they and have a, there's a lot of loyalty program benefits yeah, too. If you're a frequent everyone. cruiser, you may get some perks as far as free drinks at different events and parties right. on the ship. Yeah, and you things just like kind of have to, you know, do your research and see what each cruise line, because um, they're all different. Some have welcome parties, some have past guest parties. Um, just you know, and it's it. There's just a lot of them, a lot of different ones. Um, also, sometimes you can get free drinks from um, being in the casino, spending money in the casino. Different cruise lines offer that as well, and there's different amounts based on that. So that's all kind of individual stuff per person. You just kind of have to look into. Mm -hmm. um, I will say really quick here: um, regular like tap water, your tea, and regular coffee in the dining rooms, milk, most of your juices. Um, iced tea and usually lemonade and on some cruise lines hot chocolate those are all like free in the dining room and the, the buffet and everything like that so those you don't have to pay for your specialty coffees and all that um you do and also with some of these drink packages we're going to go over those are included in that as well as and your soda you will pay for yes. soda so yes. keep that in mind i mean it's not alcohol but it goes in a lot of alcohol right. um, but uh yeah you'll pay for sodas and things and there are drink packages, not only alcohol drink packages, but there's also non-alcohol drink packages right. that uh, most of the cruise lines will have that you can take advantage and of. And some too. have them for adults and for kids. Yes. Too, as well, with the non-alcoholic ones too. Oh yeah. So. All right, cool. Okay. So, so, so what do we now, got next? Now, let's move on to talking about all the individual drink packages on each cruise line and what um, exactly is included. Now I will say um, really quickly, all the cruise lines, um, when we go through their drink packages, they're all basically unlimited for these prices. Uh, there are two cruise lines, um, Carnival and Holland America, that have a 15 drink limit that you cannot go you know, over. Once you hit 15, you're done. Um, you're done getting them for free. You could pay for more, <laughs> Yeah. but you're done with your, your you know, no additional charge. So probably after in a day. 15, you probably don't need anymore. <laughs> I would say so. 15 in a day sounds pretty, you know, sounds like a lot. But you yeah. got to remember that's, that's alcohol. That could be a coffee. Yeah, um, that's true. You know, a latte or something like that. Um, you know, so those kind of things come in. So, also life. across the board with most of these drink packages, um, any adult in the cabin has to purchase the package. So, right. if there's, uh, you know, two adults and you have your kids with you or something, both adults have to purchase it. Um, exactly. Royal Caribbean <laughs> is one cruise line that has not changed over to that yet. Although, I believe from so, reading stuff online, they are actually doing a test on one of their ships now. Um, it's so Harmony of the Seas. Maybe yeah. Harmony of the Seas. Uh, September to November, they will be testing uh, that. And they do it because, you know, hey, people take advantage of it. And one person purchases it and they buy drinks for each person. now. Um, you're only allowed to purchase one drink at a time, and they may monitor how often you're, you know, purchasing those drinks. Some cruises, so you have to wait five minutes to get another drink. Yeah. Some cruises a little longer. It could be ten or fifteen minutes. minutes or whatever the case is, because they just don't want you to be buying rounds of drinks for everybody. Um, you know, when the when those ones are, are prepaid and, and you're not paying anything additional. And if they catch you doing it, you do risk. Um, getting banned the rest of the week from mm -hmm. your um, privileges and as well as not getting reimbursed for your package that you already paid for Yeah, as well. so you can get a little slap on so, the wrist if you're breaking those booze rules. So keep that in mind when you're, uh, when you're trying to circumvent the system. Yes. Okay, so now let's move on to Carnival's drink packages. Let's start with Carnival. All right. We usually cruise Carnival the most out of any cruise line, so um, we're all, probably a little more familiar with Carnival. But... Mm -hmm. They have what they call the Cheers program, okay? The, um, 
It includes your alcohol and your non-alcoholic beverages, um, all your cocktails, your beer, your wine, um, just any spirits, yeah. just any drink, okay? It also includes your um, frozen cocktails, your like smoothies, sodas, um, specialty drinks, some juices that aren't the free juices, your coffees, specialty coffees, teas. Yeah. Um, it almost be easier to say what's not yeah. included. The only it, thing, oh, it, has, yeah. it includes your energy drinks, <laughs> your power oh, yeah. aids, vitamin waters, all that. All yes. that's included. Yes. So, with that being said, the price of that is if you pre-purchase it online prior to your cruise, it is forty nine ninety five a day um, per person plus gratuity, and Carnival charges fifteen percent gratuity. All, the cruise line is some are 15 and some are 18, and I'll let you know as we go through them. Mm -hmm. um, if you wait and purchase it on board, it will be $54.95 a day per person plus gratuity. So if you purchase it, you get what, about $5 a day per mm -hmm. person less. Well, you save a little money. And if you don't, if you don't think you can drink a lot on that first day, because there's so you know, depending on what time you're going to get on the ship and what you have planned and all that, you can purchase it on day two. Yeah, Carnival lets you purchase and it up until up to the mid mid range of your cruise and yes. then if you have less than three days left I think they don't let you purchase it anymore mm -hmm. and it's not available I think on their like little two-day cruises at yeah, all. yeah so but so that's what they have to offer oh, with that it also includes 25% um, off um, any drinks above $50 because carnival you can actually purchase as one of your drinks any drink that costs up, up as much as fifty dollars. Yeah, so you're talking like really so fine scotches buy. or some very expensive champagne that's or one glass thing of that's wine. That's really interesting and, um, and nice that no other cruise line offers. Um, you could actually get fifteen fifty dollar drinks a day if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, and then you're and then you're <laughs> talking about value right there. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you'll get your money's worth there whether you drink them or not. Um, and then anyways, and you also get 25% off um, any bottle of wine or champagne. And if you take any beverage or um, seminars or classes, you get 25% off. And that's all included in their Cheers package. It's kind of all one bundled package. Um, the only thing that's not included are like your souvenir cups, um, the mini bar, room service, and like tubes of beer tubes. and the red frog yeah. or um, um, pitchers the big like uh, probably the fishbowl drinks and some of those things right. so it's basically any any drink uh, individual drink that you'll purchase from anyone of the bar and I'm sorry did you say 25% off beverage seminars and classes yes yeah. yeah. I gotta look into those yeah Maybe learn a little might something might be interesting yeah and they will have one other thing which um, it's for adults and kids. They have they kind of separate their soda. Soda is included within the alcohol package, but if you aren't a drinker and you just want a soda package type thing, they have a soda package for kids and another one for adults. It's basically the same package, but it costs more for adults. Yeah. I don't know why, but anyways, it's the bottomless bubbles um, package, and it includes unlimited soda juices um, for the full week of your cruise or length of your cruise. Um, you can get it anytime. Um, at any of the bars, casino bar, lobby bar, yeah. anything, just not in the mini bar. That's something that. our son loves to do. He's 12 now, so for the last uh, couple of cruises, um, we've been able to get him that bottomless bubble yeah. package. He likes, so he just rolls yeah. up to a bar, flashes his card, and uh, orders himself a, yeah, a Coca-Cola. Yeah. Um, and the kids' prices is four four ninety five per person per day um, plus gratuity, and the adult price is seven ninety five per person a day with plus gratuity. Yeah. So you're so, so you're paying about almost twice as much. And to be clear, all. you're paying your gratuity <laughs> ahead of time when you purchase this. Uh -huh. So you'll purchase the, the the deal, and you'll pay the fifteen percent uh, in Carnival's case fifteen percent gratuity ahead of time. So, so it won't be added. Uh, yeah, on you don't again. have to pay tip at all unless you get some great service you want to recognize and throw a few bucks at somebody and I'll tell you what I when you find that nice area you like to drink at and that one bartender that's just awesome and you enjoy chatting with and stuff throw them a few extra bucks they will prioritize you even yeah. if it's just for seven days on a ship you know you get a little bit of an extra kick in your service so yeah. uh, an extra uh, dollar or two really makes a difference yeah it'll go a long sure. way all right, so we got that. So that's going to be Carnival. That's Carnival. Okay, okay. then what do we got next? All right, so the next cruise line is going to be Royal Caribbean, um, and this is good to compare these two because Carnival and Royal are 
they attract a lot of the same type of guests and, and some of the same folks will bounce back and forth between the two lines. So it's a, you know it's good to measure. I mean, if drinking is a big part of your cruise, you know, measure these two programs. Maybe yeah. it helps you make a decision. Yeah. So with Royal Caribbean, um, you have something called the deluxe drink package, and it is kind of your un unlimited. Um, there is not a fifteen drink. Yeah. Drinks per day limit. No 15 drink limit. Here you can um, drink you get your, as much as you want. your alcohol, your beer, your wine, um, everything, um, frozen cocktails, um, your mocktails, your coffee, teas, everything. For but the drinks can only be the highest price they can go to is twelve dollars. Now on the Oasis class ships, um, it's thirteen dollars. Yes, that's their newer ships. Um, so there's a good comparison right there. Royal Caribbean, you can drink as many drinks as you want in their package. Mm -hmm. But it can't be anything that would cost more than 12 bucks versus yeah. Carnival, 15 now, drink limit, yeah. and up to $50 per drink. For now, Carnival. if you do want a drink that's more expensive than $12, you can just pay the difference between the two drinks and get it with your package. Um, also, any bottle of wine under $100, you get a 40% discount, and anything above $100, you get a 20% discount. Um, this package is $55 per person a day. Um, plus gratuity, and their gratuity is 18%, I believe. No, it's 15% as well. It's 15% okay. as well. Um, and you can also um, use this package on their private islands. A lot of the cruise lines have their own little private islands off the Bahamas, like Half Moon K, um, Coco K, and things like that. Anyways, um, most of the cruise lines, you cannot use it on the private islands. In fact, I don't think they're are any that you can except yeah. for Royal. Royal you can use it in um, Coco Cay and Bahamas and um, Labadee Haiti. You can use it in both of those private islands as well. All right. And on to they also offer a refreshment package. Um, their refreshment package um, it includes just like your premium coffees, teas, sparkling waters, some of the juices and mocktails, sodas and things like that and it is 26 um, per person a day per person um, per person a day per person a day per person a <laughs> yeah. day per person a day plus gratuity and then they also have a soda package as well a classic soda package um, and they have uh, most of their ships I think have the fountain sodas now so it's kind of like a freestyle type um, fountain so it's just unlimited refills with that um, I believe they give you a, like a coca-cola souvenir cup and then you can just fill it up um, as much as you want and it's eight fifty a day per person yes. um, plus gratuity of course and that is and then mini bar is excluded on this ship as well yeah nothing I think across the board bar. nothing yeah. if you have a mini bar with alcohol in it those drinks will not count towards your your drink package deal right. and remember what we mentioned earlier um, so Royal Caribbean is unique uh, currently it's the one cruise line where not everyone has to buy the package in the room although they're testing it so keep that in mind yeah yeah all right so. Okay, so topic. let's move on to the next cruise line. Okay, so who's next? Norwegian. Okay, Norwegian offers um, a few different packages. They also do a thing where um, a lot of times they're offering you can get all these different packages. One is the free beverage package with your cruise. Just watch when you book a cruise um, thinking you're getting the free beverage package because it's not completely free. You will pay a service charge of anywhere between like two and three hundred, depending on the length of your cruise and everything, um, for that package. So all of a sudden, your little your cruise will bump up a few hundred. Yeah. Um, so and read the fine why. print is what we're telling you. <laughs> yeah, just read the fine print because it may, you know, it, depending on how much you drink, it may be cheaper just to buy your drink. So you know, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, Anyway, so they offer an unlimited drink package. It includes all your cocktails, beer, wine, soft drinks, um, everything that is um, $15 or less. That's their cutoff, $15 or less. Um, and their uh, package price is $79 per person a day, plus gratuity. Their gratuity is 18%. It's a little more than some of the other cruise lines. All right, now then they also have this um, like kind of a sub package uh, corks and caps, uh, and it's just wine and beer. So if you're not into the hard alcohol, mm -hmm. we like wine, beer, and soft drinks as well. Um, you can get that for 60 bucks a day, plus the 18% gratuity. Um, and uh, they do have a setup where everyone 21 and over in the cabin must purchase the uh, the package. So um, so again, they're trying to keep people from sharing that and things like that. Um, 
And uh, what else they got? They do have the they have kids a, soda a, package. Well, they have a soda package, kids and adults. They, theirs is broken down to um, adult and teens together, and it's seven fifty a day um, per person. They give you like a souvenir um, thermal mug kind of to use it because I think they have like the Coke machines as well, and it's unlimited, you know, soda. Um, and then they have a children's package, which is basically just the same, but it's um, five fifty a day per person. And I think the cutoff date between the um, Children and the teen is 12. So if you're 12 or under, you get the 550 a day. Gotcha. <laughs> 550 a day. Um, and that's Norwegians for you. And one Norwegian. unique thing about Norwegian, they have Pepsi. Oh, yeah. All the other cruise lines have Coca Cola products. Norwegian is the only one that has Pepsi, along with a few ships on MSC have um, Pepsi, depending on where they their embarkation, where you de embarkation location is, I guess I might say. Mm -hmm. Some of the um, European um, ports. locations, ports, um, they have Pepsi as well. But most of them have mm, Coke. Yeah. But yeah, Norwegian's kind of sits in so itself. So if you're a fan of Pepsi and you hate Coke, you got to go Norwegian. Yeah, yeah, so. I guess so. so. All right, okay, what's going to be the next one? Okay. We have an all-inclusive package, which includes pretty much um, every, everything alcoholic. Oh, everything's included in well, the all-inclusive? <laughs> um, Shocker. Well, I know. Um, it's your alcohol, your specialty coffees, your bottled water, your soda. Smoothies. But, guess what? What? Their limit on their drinks is only $10. $10? I know. So, so if you wanted a premium margarita. I, that might be over $10. It's definitely going to be yeah. over $10. So Princess, your drinks can only be up to $10. And if you pre-purchase it, it's fifty-seven forty-five a day. And if you purchase it on board is fifty nine eighty a day. Yeah. I'm not a day. <laughs> yeah, a day per person. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. So it's a little higher price and has yeah, a they lower. They squeeze you for that two dollars and thirty five yeah. cents a day deal. Yeah. Um, let's see. Also, you can get a forty percent discount on in your specialty restaurants and dining and, and things on on your bottles of wine as well with that. All right. So now they also have unlimited soda and more package. You get all your 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 um, your soda fountain drinks, um, non-alcoholic or virgin drinks and things like that, uh, hot chocolate, that's eight bucks a day per person. And they also have a coffee card. Eight oh um, five per day. Eight oh five per day. Five so, yeah, I think the folks out there will <laughs> cut me a break on that five cent deal. And they have a new coffee grounds card program where you're, uh, you pay thirty five dollars or thirty six bucks for the card basically and it entitles you to fifteen um, espresso based coffee drinks uh, yeah. throughout the, the cruise. Yeah, it's just a um, card and it's yeah. just for that amount. That's a big, I mean, a lot of people don't drink the alcohol, but they do drink um, frozen, uh, you know, non-alcoholic drinks mm -hmm. uh, so that they can feel comfortable with the, the crowd they're in. Well, and also and, um, coffee seems to be big. A lot of people complain oh, yeah. about just the regular coffee on cruise ships and the dining rooms and room service coffee and things. So, I mean, the, all the specialty coffees are actually pretty popular. Yeah, uh, we've had a few. Yeah, they're pretty good too. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it can be sobering. <laughs> yeah, right so you time. can go back and drink some more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got to meter yourself, you know. All right. right. The way. Okay. Well, let's move on to celebrity. They um, celebrity has a fifteen percent gratuity, and they there is is broken up pretty pretty clear. It's they have a standard, a classic, and a premium package. Um, their standard package is forty five per person a day. Um, it includes your all your well spirit brands, a selection of wines um, and beers, and your bottled waters. Um, then they have a classic package, which is fifty five per person a day. It includes the standard package plus additional brands um, and up to nine dollars a day um, each on your drinks. So well, that's kind of low too. Um, and then you also have your premium package, which is sixty five per person a day. And that includes everything in your classic package, plus additional brands and up to thirteen dollars um, per drink. So they break it down to uh, if you like well alcohol, yeah. well alcohol meaning the cheap stuff, the no name stuff that they have, um, or up to uh, up to the the premium. Um, you pay a little more for the good stuff if you're a fan of the tastier uh, booze, you know, less less hangover, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of stuff. And I did um, hear uh, that they do also give some sparkling wine complimentary on embarkation day. I don't know how much. 
I don't know. It's probably just a glass or so. I, I, think I don't they, know. I think but it's a glass. that's something to kind of look into maybe when you get on the ship and see because, you know, hey, a glass of champagne is a glass of champagne. Hey, we'll take it. <laughs> okay. You'll take it. I know that much. <laughs> yeah, I love champagne. Okay. Now let's move All on. Right. Holland America. Holland America has a, a few different um, sort of beverage options. Mm -hmm. They have the Elite Beverage Package, which um, includes all your alcoholic drinks, um, beers, wines, um, coffees, just mocktails, um, bottled water, soda, everything basically, um, uh, up to $15 each. Um, and that is the Elite um, Package, and it is $54.95 a day per person plus gratuity. They also have um, a signature beverage package, which is basically all the same um, as the Elite, except for the, I guess the brands are probably a little lesser value because the, um, the cost there is only up to $8 um, per drink mm. is included. So, um, and it's $49.95 a day um, per person yeah. plus gratuity. So now, well, I think some of these packages that are that have the less expensive drinks, like just drinks that are eight bucks a day, those are probably ones for people that know they're going to be getting inexpensive wine, cheap champagne, or just beer. So they yeah. probably set it up that way. And the folks that know they enjoy uh, a cocktail are going to have to bump it up and get the the higher end package, uh, yeah. regardless to cover the costs. Um, and once again, you know, it's your mini bar is not included. Um, the private islands are not included. They go to Half Moon K2. Um, and you say there's a Coke packet? They have a soda package? They, oh, and they also have, um, Holland America has that 15 drink maximum oh, a day okay. too. They also have that. Mm. Um, they do have a Coke package. Um, their Coke package is $8 a day per person plus gratuity. And it's um, unlimited fountain sodas. So most of is it called the Coke package or that's just Coca Cola package? Okay. <laughs> um, they a lot of their ships now have the freestyle um, Coke machines, so you know it's just kind of a self serve thing. Um, there are a few that don't, but um, a lot mm -hmm. of ships are kind of going to that now. A lot of yeah. So, anyways, and oh, and they do have two other things that are kind of cool that others don't offer. They have a cellar master package, which consists of um, any five bottles of wine. You get to pick like a standard, a premium. Um, then you, uh, you get like a wine accessory gift set and a Holland America, um, commend, commend, <laughs> give it a shot. Come oh on, my you can gosh. Say it. I can never say this word. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now, Sharon? Let's see. I remember it too. Come in the well, let me cover that for you. So once again, let's take that from the top. All of wine. I think maybe you've had a little too much I wine. <laughs> um, the Cellar Master Package. You get your choice of five bottles um, of whatever wines. So there's also a standard or premium wine tasting that you can be part of. A wine accessory gift set and a Holland America commemorative bottle of wine that you get as well. And that's for, uh, it starts at two fifty two a person. Right. So there's probably different levels of wines you can get yeah. and pay more for, for higher higher and right. uh, bottles That's the gratuity. And stuff. Don't forget the gratuity. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget gratuity will be in there as well. Are they 18% or are we uh, not They are 15%. Totally sure? 15 they are 15 And they also have something called the um, Quench Beverage Package. Um, and that's just for all your non-alcoholic drinks. Um, they even have non-alcoholic beers. Um, juices, what? bottled water, that's specialty awesome. coffees, and things like that. And that is seven ninety five dollars um, per day per person as well. Plus gratuity. Hold on, seven? Seventeen. Seventeen. Yes, seventeen. You said seven. Oh, I thought Let's be clear okay. about that. Seventeen, 17 bucks a person. Seventeen. Yes. And yes, we do have notes off to the side that we're reading, but you can tell that. Yeah, already. we got a lot of information here. It's just uh, yeah. too much to memorize. But. Oh yeah. Way too old to memorize. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So now let's move on to MSC. All right, so the next cruise line is MSC. Now remember, isn't this the one that they don't let you bring anything on board the ship? That's correct. They got you on That's lockdown, correct. so yeah. you figure they got to have a couple different packages they're going to be trying to sell you once you get on the ship uh, for drinking. Right. So, so they have basically a premium and classic package, including alcohol, and then a premium and classic package with for non-alcoholic drinks. Basically. Yeah. So. The premium package um, for alcoholic drinks, it includes all your um, 
it's just like the entire bar list. Anything, I guess, pretty much that they Yeah, all your offer. top shelf uh, yeah. booze and... Um, uh, it even has your mineral and, mineral water yeah, for your stay room. And it even includes your mini bar on this one. Your mini bar is included. Ooh. And it includes the gelateria menu and pastry Good job. shop. You got that word right. So I don't know how they include that in, in the alcohol. <laughs> but anyways, you well, get it's Well, it's probably the drinks that they make there. Yeah. You know, um, at, at, in their pastry shop. Yeah, has they do. They make, I think, like some that. milkshakes and things like that because they yeah. have ice cream. So MSC, so the uh, all inclusive premium package. Is it could be anywhere from forty five to no, sixty 40, bucks. It's forty four to sixty one, but this is what's weird. It's based on the ship and the sailing date. Mm. So depending on when you sail and what ship you're on, the price can kind of fluctuate on that. So oh. that's kind of weird. And then they have this um, all inclusive again, but it's a classic package. And the difference in that is that one does not include champagne. Um, your premium brands are not included. Your mini bars not included. Souvenir. Um, Glasses and bottles of water are not included in that. Mm, so it's okay. a little bit lower level of alcohol as well. Um, so, and that is 45 per person a day. All right. So. And then you mentioned the uh, premium. They have a premium drink package and With, a classic yes. uh, for, for non-alcohol right. uh, based drinks. Yeah. It includes your coffees, your premium teas, your hot chocolate delights, your juices, um, smoothies, milkshakes, um, and as, as well as um, the items in the gelateria. And that is 31 per person a day. Um, and then the, same, the classic package, um, which uh, is just basically similar, um, but I don't know, there's really not that much difference. That one actually says it includes the energy drinks though, but it's less, it's 23 per person a day. Mm -hmm. So they have kind of a premium of both packages and, and more like well, the premium type. includes some higher-end coffees and premium teas yeah. and stuff like that. And, you know, the, the type of folks that are going to be on that cruise ship are definitely ones that enjoy going to high tea and stuff like that. Right. Um, and uh, so, you know, I think that's where that pricing difference uh, comes into play. Okay. All right, so, anything else for those guys? So that's it for MSC. And their gratuity is 15% as well. So okay. keep in mind you have to add 15% to all of their... All right. prices as well. And what's next? Next is, last but not least, Disney. Disney. So with Disney, they have a pretty unique setup. They do not really have um, similar drink packages like the other cruise lines, but they actually you can bring on a lot more um, alcohol than the others. That you can't. Well, you can't bring on any hard alcohol. Yes. But um, you can actually bring on an embarkation up to two bottles of unopened wine or champagne per person in your carry-on, of course, or six beers, um, 12 ounces or less, um, mm -hmm. also. Now that, and that's standard because all the other ships kind of allow you to do that too. But, but not well, beer, but they can bring beer. Well, yeah. yeah, but the unique thing is that at every port you go to, you can do that as well. Mm -hmm. You can bring um, two bottles of wine or six beers um, back on and, back on board. And you don't they don't confiscate it and give it to you at the end of the cruise. It's yours to keep. You mm -hmm. can keep it and drink it right then. So And it, and it's two bottles per passenger, twenty one mm -hmm. or over. Right. Right? right. So and you know, on other ships when you first get on the ship it's one bottle per person. Mm -hmm. Here it's two bottles or again, six beers right. and you can do that. So um, I, so basically I mean you could just bring all your own alcohol on and probably be fine with that and not even have to purchase any alcohol. Yeah, if unless you just wanted you some to yeah, other type of drinks. Some stuff. Yeah. So but so that's a pretty good deal. Now they do charge you a twenty five dollar corkage fee and I have a feeling, I don't know this because I've never cruised Disney. We don't cruise Disney for once again because they don't have a casino. But <laughs> Um, I have a feeling that when you do bring that wine on, they probably do charge you that corkage fee. That's kind of their way to get you. Well, I'm, um, not, I'm not sure. It, it was written down oh, that it actually, says that the corkage fee is if you bring it yeah, in the dining room. Yeah, it does. It does. So, yeah. they, so maybe if you take it to your room, you won't get charged. Yes. But yeah, in the dining room. But that is very unique because um, across the board, no other cruise ships uh, will allow you to purchase alcohol in port and bring it on. Normally, if you purchase it in port, because that's a big question. They'll let you bring um, it on, but they confiscate it and give it back yeah. to the last day when you leave. Confiscate or the night is before. such a harsh word. <laughs> but they will hold it for you. And then, and like Sharon said, they'll tell you you can come down and pick it up the night before, last night of the cruise. 
Um, yes, they and, figure uh, you're not you going to be drinking it. all that the last night before you're getting off. <laughs> Doable, <Well, laughs> yeah. probably not. Probably happens though, well, yeah. Um, and Dizzy off also offers um, a captain's cocktail party, which they, um, and it's open to all passengers, not just the elite or diamond platinum type status. Um, and it offers some complimentary, complimentary drinks there. And this is only on cruises um, five nights or longer. But mm -hmm. they do offer that, so that's kind of nice. And Disney does have, you know, it is a lot more costly, like probably almost twice as much. But there are, I've noticed a lot of little things that the others don't give you that, that kind of make up for some of the cost. I mean, it, it really just depends on I mean, the what you're love looking Disney for. Will pay any amount of Yeah, it Disney. really just depends on what you're looking for, you know, if it's something that's important to you or not. But, um, but it's, Disney's a great cruise line as well. Um, and there you go. That's their drink. Their drink. I guess it's not really a package, but what's what's mm -hmm. allowed to bring on and yes. um, with that. So you can get a buzz if you're going on a Disney cruise. Uh, <laughs> that's for sure. And so, and like we said, just to reiterate that again. So you purchase the liquor in port, you can bring it back on the or you purchase on, uh, purchase the champagne, I should say, or beer. And um, about the liquor, Sharon mentioned it. I don't know how clear it was, but you cannot bring any liquor on board the ship at any time. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be held and given back that's to you at the correct. end of the sailing. So and hard alcohol is a no-no in the yes. world of Disney. Yes, and actually any cruise line, they will take it away and hold it until the last last um, night before yes. the cruise. And if, if any cruise line confiscates any of your alcohol on embarkation day too, some cruise lines will hold it till the end of, and put it out on this big table and you can go and kind of get it at the end, you know, kind of sneak in and nonchalantly and grab your alcohol that Can't you tried stop. to sneak on <laughs> as everyone's looking at you. Mm -hmm. Or there are some cruise lines that actually just get rid of it and you don't get it back. So yeah. you kind of take the risk of just losing that as well. well and if you're looking to get some uh, some good deals on alcohol and bring it home, mm -hmm. you can definitely save some money with duty-free purchases. But if you yeah. buy it in the shops on the ship, they will also hold that till the end of the cruise right. and then give it to you. And if you do that, another thing, they will put it in... Um, the cardboard packaging that you can fly home with. Sure, they'll give you a cardboard right. thing to carry it off the ship. I would suggest. But then you're going to need to put it in your If you're going to do that, you home. bring some kind of bubble wrap with you and pre plan this or something because we did do that once a few years ago and it was one of those three packs of um, rum, the flavored rums in there. We put it in our checked luggage and when we got home, one of our bottles was broke in mm. there and it was packaged in the cardboard. And it was all over our clothes and our luggage, and it was a big mess. So, yes. you know, they're not very careful with the luggage at the airport. And just a warning, the cardboard that's supposed to be good for um, transport is not as good as it looks. No. <laughs> so, all keep right. that in mind. Now, do we have anything else about drink packages? No, that is it. But I will, let's leave them with one final tip, big tip. What do you, you, what do you got? Well, two tips. Always do a lot of research when you're getting ready to go on a cruise on any yes. subject. Research, research, research. That yes. is our motto. Some of the information and we're giving you is from experience. Some of it is from research, but double check before you go to make sure that you know any current changes or any other rules right, or anything. That's right, because things do change. And since we're talking about the drink packages, um, don't forget your wine opener. If you're planning on drinking wine, taking wine on... Make sure you bring your a wine cork, bring open, your cork screw. Yeah, to open your wine so you don't have to get any cork charges for mm -hmm. if you don't want to. And um, bring that in your carry-on All right, well. and until next time, we will tell you have fun cruising. And cheers. Cheers.